Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Scabbard Live Show. Don't do it. It's not worth it, kid. All right, well, let's just keep going that way and see if we can get towards the tree, maybe? Excuse me, I'm a little upset. I didn't die, yet my darkness is definitely spreading. Wait, do I have to go this way? Hold up. That's a negative. Do you guys remember the game, uh, Quantum Break? The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother, King Sigmund, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Oh, all the same place. No one remembers Quantum Break. Uh, I believe that's the name of it, right? Um, it was the one where it was like, it was almost like an FMV. You would make decisions. I love Shipbreaker, James. Oh, oh wait, do you remember? Do you remember that game? No, I've never heard of that game. I've heard of a game called Logistics Sim, though. It's just about logistics. My guy. Delivering products from point A to B. <laughs> I actually did that. I played that one when it came out, and that was actually pretty good Quantum Break. By pretty good, I mean it was interesting. It was the first time I've done... You guys ever heard of a game called Loop Hero? <laughs> Frig. Excuse me, I'm searching for lore? Oh, I could've just gone around this whole time? Frig. Not Control, I never played Control. That was more recent, right? That was the third person story-driven Ru Rudy Tootie McShooty. Where you like, change shape of things, right? I, by the way, I didn't play it, no idea what, what the actual game is. Lore? Found it? Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel. There he is. My man. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was... Sorry, guys. About being blinded. If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew and dance with it just like he does. What's your name? 
Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one. Well, I I watched you, and you learnt all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Gamer logic? Oh man, I can't just climb over this very simple rock to go towards the tree. Frig. We gotta go around, okay. Sorry, work emails coming in? I'll deal with them later. Oh, don't worry, can't climb up that rock, can't go to the tree, we gotta go around. Oh, there's lore over there. Uh, apparently nothing. Soon. Lore? As the she -wolf licks the we haven't missed any yet. Face. Fake lore. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister, plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart, and pure of blood. Sorry, I'm trying to get all the fake lore. I don't want to miss it. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress. And in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy Bruh. and finds him strong and fearless. 
And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Yowza! Okay. Yeah, this story took a weird turn real fast. Hold up, that's how we get in. What was there more under here? Hold up. Uh, again, I don't know who this man is. If there's a way up right here, right? Yeah, I don't know who this I don't know who this fake lore searching man is. It might attach actually. I think it just attaches. Grammar by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need a sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Grammar by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shards. Go to the shards. What's We're gonna start this way. Find it. It's the metal rune stones. It's start with the first one. Find it. The metal. The runes. You need that find, find it. it. There it is. Focus. Focus. The shard. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. It's not safe. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgment. Baldur's Gate! I was waiting for it. <laughs> Only good things uh... were told of him. <laughs> Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Oh! Oh man, we're gonna have to do like four... Four different, um... Trials, right? I'm ready. I, I see the gameplay loop. I'm ready. Open that up, please. If we ever have to change back to darkness, we can go to the other weird face. Okay, 
Okay, I can't go there. Get some lore. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. And his gate? It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beast, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of hell, mistress of death. I want to hear the lore, please. What's up, Babs? How you doing? Game's been great. It's been a it's been a trip, is what it has been. Our goal is to beat it today, but no one believes we'll do it. Oh, excuse me. A tree, maybe. I might have to go back to the darkness, I think. Yeah, let's go back to the darkness here. We can go back, right? Yeah, we can go back. We gotta go through that gate, I think. Game's been good, man. I, I, I would describe it as someone said. It's, it's a work of art and less of a game, if that makes sense. Right, this gate's open if we zoom in, so let's... By the way, happy 420, guys. Seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glue. I see it. So there it is. Explored new paths into the unknown. That's it right there. Oh, we did it. You've got it. Why isn't he here? You can't go up there. Not in this world. Is it actually your birthday? He's the reason she's alive at all. All right, let's go back. Go back to Darkness Town. Go open that gate. If it's your birthday, we'll show some excitement. If it's not your birthday. <laughs> I'll show some excitement. Open, please. Excuse me, you misunderstand. There we go. Sure is? You've been loved by too many people today, though? Alright. That's fair. We only celebrate, like, actual celebrations here, though, so, you know. Where are you taking Sorry, bud. He's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. There's I'm kidding! Chat. She can real talk to him. Happy birthday, kid. I thought I called you kid. Uh, I think I have to go... Back to Light Town, I bet, for those stairs to still be alive. Wait, but it was chained up there, though. Dillion, don't 
doesn't know who killed him, but we do. D do you see that? Can we just walk up? Will not let us walk up? So how does that work? We can line up this weird image to be stairs. Maybe it's not quite right. There we go. There we go. I had to line it up right. What are you doing for your birthday, man? Anything exciting? See, my mentality is I like I prefer to go to other people's parties and make them about me. I don't like going to parties where they're about me. So the whole idea of having a birthday party for me, nah, not a big fan. But if it's someone else's birthday, yo, I'd love to go and and then <laughs> make it all about me. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yo, give me the lore, please. Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That's in Bell and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Maybe with that lightness? He cared in a way that nobody else did. Alright, uh, we got. We got Z's. Been pretty chill. Oh, there it is. Excuse me. Oh, I gotta be on the other side, though. Let me go all the way around here. Open that up, too. Oh, there's a gate there. I bet it's closed. Let's just double check, though. Never know. Yep, definitely locked. I know where the Z is. The backwards Z. Oh, we got lore here. We almost missed the lore. Do you think she remembers him? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Valda. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. Hmm. You have blood on your hands. You are guilty. Was it worth it? Ha ha ha! I see it. Please be open. Ah! Ho ho ho! I see the path. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Send it. Wasting your you have no time for this. Speed is up. Should you listen to your father when you have the chance? Oh, I didn't have listen to this. It's trying to distract you and it all they've set you up and now they're going to watch you for what if these trials mean nothing? Laughing at you. Do they have to spend so much time in this in this ASMR chamber to do all this? Make you weak before the battle. Kill the 
Okay. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Oh, here are the uh some more lore. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Billion. Saved her. You owe your life to Dillian. The pyre's lit, dude. You owe everything to him. <sighs> Alright, where is it? He saved you. I now see it? Bam. Alright, so now we're going to Dark Town. And then we're out of here. Oh, it's open, baby! Let's go, boys. Send it. There he is! Bro. There's only one of four? Send it. Are you gonna send in it? Come on over, the water's fine. Don't worry. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like our father, Zinbel. So our father was a druid. I guess he took after his father. A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Morlin, thanks, man. Appreciate it. We will uh, attempt to do so, but there's a chance we might not. We did it. He's he's almost T posing. Please. <gasps> You would survive a jump into water that high. It's not... It's not... Death levels. Praise the sun? Night, Moreland. Shinoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. Is this Dillian? He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. Yo. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. It made it worse. I'm so sorry. Pog, first one done. You did it, but there's more. Don't worry, there's like three more. I'm on it. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. There's always more to do. That that hits a little different, doesn't it? Can you do another one? It's too much. Have you 
I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this place? It stinks. It feels wrong. It feels strange. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see us live, come on over to twitch.tv slash scavern. There we stream live Tuesday through Thursday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Click the follow button over on Twitch to get a personal notification when we go live.